Okay, so in this video, I am going to set up a whole bunch of stuff involving friction. And so, this is going to relate partially to friction on an incline. But we are going to do this uh, a lot. We're going to come back to this video time and time and time again. Okay, so the question is friction. We're going to introduce friction into the mix. And so I have a book, and I'm going to figure out that it takes approximately 5 newtons of force to pull this brick across the table. 5 newtons of force to pull, I'm sorry, not brick, I'm going to go to a brick here in a second. This book, 5 newtons across the table. Now, I need to know what's the weight of this book. And I'm going to say that the weight of this book is 19 newtons. So we've got two numbers, 5 newtons and 19 newtons for the book. 5 newtons and 19 newtons. And I'll just come back to those in later um, videos. Next, we got a brick and we've got a board. It's that way. I'm going to say that the brick has a weight of 16 newtons and I want you to predict whether this is going to be more force or less force than the book sliding across the table. I'm going to do it. It's kind of hard. It's, it's like slips. And it, sometimes it goes to 4, sometimes it's at 8. You try to be nice and gentle with it. And it kind of surges between four and five. It's hard to say. I'm going to call it, I'm going to say it's four. So friction is really, really kind of hard to measure. And that's one of the things that uh, is really important to understand that friction is a lot harder to measure than a lot of. Uh, quantities that we have. So I'm going to say uh, 4 newtons and the weight of it was 16 newtons. Okay. Now, let's add a ring one to it. Let's take this board and let's put it on an incline. And I want to make sure I got a one meter mark. There, I got a one meter mark. Okay. I want to know how much force is it going to take to haul this brick up this incline. And my answer to that. I'm going to call it 12 newtons. It's hard to say between 12 and 11. I got to make that choice. I'm going to, I'm going to call it 12. So I'm going to say it takes 12 newtons to haul this brick up this incline. Okay, so it's got 12 newtons. Now, I'm going to need to know what the angle of this incline is eventually. So, I'm going to put my meter stick down along the incline, and I'm going to find out that I've got a right triangle, that's my hypotenuse, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to measure to the bottom of the board, so I'm going to go straight down from that, flip it around, and I'm going to say 38 centimeters. So we're going to have a triangle that the hypotenuse is 
100 centimeters, and the vertical is going to be 38 centimeters. Okay, so that's more data that we can use in another um, in another video. Now, add another wrinkle onto it. Let's get out my stopwatch and let's put the brick. Let's put it back right where it was. Let's get the brick right on there. And let's measure how long it takes for the brick to slide down the incline off of the table and probably break. Okay, so three, two, one, go. It didn't break. It took 1.39 seconds, so let's call it 1.4 seconds. So same incline, 1.4 seconds. Okay. And the last thing that I want to talk about, I just want to demonstrate. Is there's an angle right here. If I push the brick, it just comes to a stop. So if I'm down here, I push the brick, it comes to a stop. If I go up with some incline, I push the brick, it comes to a stop. If I'm up here, as soon as I let the brick go, it immediately starts to slide on its own. So I let it go, it slides on, it own, on its own. What I want to know is there's got to be some angle in there, and this one I really need. I would really, really need to have a couple other people to help me uh, take measurements to make this work. So this is sort of a multi-handed thing, so I'm not going to really be able to take measurements. But at some point in time, so it needs a little bit of a shock to get over that initial static friction, but so right there, it's not really sliding. Right, it's not quite sliding right there. Right there it slides. Right there it kind of stops. So kind of playing right around in this area here. Right about that angle right there is where it will transition between if I'm lower, it will come to a stop. If I'm higher, it's going to accelerate. And we're going to talk about what happens at that angle in one of my later videos. So now we're going to take basically a bunch of those different scenarios and we're going to bring them onto a piece of paper and break them down and study them there.